Okay. Also have the uh, true tungsten that, that bleeds the slow sinker, sinker swim bait. It's a four inch. Very nice. Great detail on these. Can't wait to start throwing one of these. Targeting the very big bass when you're throwing a swim bait. Use these in clear water, not dirty water. You won't be able to see them, so it'll be kind of useless to throw a swim bait. Also got the uh, new Coppers Live Target <coughs> Frog. Very, very realistic looking. Very. Got this in a brown and black color. It's about three quarters of an ounce, so pretty heavy. Good. Get a very good cast on it since you got the weight. Very soft. So that will collapse easily. For good hook, hook sets. Very nice. And moving on. Got my crankbait box here. A lot of new stuff, some old stuff, mostly new. Got the Strike King <clears throat> shallow, shallow crankbait, silent. It's a new from Kevin Van Dam. It's in a fire tiger color. Very nice, great detail. And pretty big crankbait, so it's a 5 8 ounce. And it's pretty big, but very nice. Very great stuff. The Strike King stuff, I love it. Very quality made stuff. You pay a little bit more for it, but it's worth it. Another one from Kevin Van Dam here, the shallow crankbait. It's in a sexy shad color. Another 5 8 ounce. Very nice. And I have a Norman's Thin crankbait, and this is in a um, Gold SX Shed. Very nice color there. It's a 3 8 ounce. 3 8 ounce. Crankbait. Alright. I got a Bomber Fat Free Shed. This is some kind of white color. What? About 10 bass off this baby in one day. It's a deep run. Anywhere from 8 to 14 Feet depending on a line diameter. Very nice crankbait. Got the rattles in there, really get them going. And I picked up some more crankbaits recently at Dick's, they had them on sale, so got them. I'm gonna get another bomber fat free shed. And this is like in some kind of uh, Looks like a sexy shad or a blueback herring shad with glitter on it. Really hit, catch the light. Good for clear water. This is a medium there. I think it's a uh, six to nine feet. <clears throat> Very nice. This is a uh, Strike King. I don't, I'm not sure on this color. Some kind of clear smoke shad color, but very nice. This is a. Uh, Either a medium or a deep one. Not sure there. Might want to round off these bills here. Not round them off or square them off. Take a drum to them. Give us some a little bit more wobble there. We'll see if I don't get some. I'll follow it down. Got another bomber. This is a 4A model. It's got a black on the top. Looks like yellow or chartreuse on the side. Got a silver bottom with the red there. It's a medium diver. Haven't caught anything on this one. Threw it a lot, but nothing. Then I got a tiny, I think it's a Rebel crankbait. This is a, like a fire tiger pattern color. This thing is light as hell, I mean. You gotta definitely throw on a spinning rod with a light line. Because I've tried throwing on a 10 pound mine on a spinning rod, and that would even do it. So you gotta even go lighter. Yeah, it's very light. They didn't catch anything with it yet. And I got another Rebel hard bait here. This is like a, it's a, it's like a stick bait, jerk bait is a proper name. This is like a red eye shad color, 
put one bash on this through many times. I had too much luck with it. I don't really like the whole jerk bait thing. Jerk bait baits. And uh, is um, I'm not sure the brand of this one. This is a monster. Threw this jerk bait many times. No luck with it. It's a monster, so. I don't know, it's kind of big for bass for that size jerk bait anyway. I got some more bomber, fat free fingerling. This is an old one from Dix I picked up. It was on sale too. It's another sexy shad color, looks like with the glitter. It's smaller than this one I recently showed you. So I figured I'd get both of them, you know, two different sizes. And another one here. Looks like a um, chartreuse color. Good for dirtier stained water. Then, let's see what else I have here. I got a chatterbait. With a little like shad minnow on there. Had no luck with this one yet. No luck at all with that. And it comes with another shad here. They could just switch up two different tails. You got the curly tail, then you got like the paddle tail there. Whatever you want to use. You know, see what they're biting on. That's all for my crankbaits. I got some more soft plastics in here. Let's see, I got the uh, Gary Yamamoto 5 inch pumpkins I showed you before. Not luck on these. Got those white trick worms in here, the Alabama color trick worms. And some uh, Senko I found fishing one time. It was like a clear color, but I left it with this pumpkin one, so it turned into like a brown color. I'll use it sometime at some point. Got those green yum dingers with that gold flake in here. The Ikas. 3 inch Gary Yamamoto black singos. Then I got these old spider gubs, I think they are. And a short shoes of black pupper color. These are like 10 years old, too, maybe 12 years old. I never caught anything on these, but I figure once I pick up some uh, more jigs, use this for a trailer, you know, something that I'm throwing that's in a dirtier steam water. That'll get some nice action to it with those lakes, you know. And I got those crawdads in here. And I got some little grubs here, very bright chartreuse with a, like a green flake in there. Right, good action, very good for a trailer there. Very good for a trailer. And that's it for, uh, I got some more stuff in here, forgot about that. Got the uh, Robo Worms, great for drop shotting. Again, new stuff here for new season, never tried it before, we'll see what happens. This is in a black grape color, four and a half inch straight tail Robo Worm. I mean, they're tiny worms. Very small. And I got another one of them. Our package. This is in a the best color. Uh, it's like a brown with a uh, blue and clear color. I usually use this color like in a clear water situation. Robot worms. And I got the rage tail. Toads here. I can't wait to use one of these bad boys. This is like a buzz bait, and this is in a, a green pumpkin pearl color. Good for clear water. But you know, with a top water, frog moves so fast, the color I, I don't think matters all that much. I got that coffee scent to them, too. 
Get those legs going, those feet. Very soft. Pretty soft. I mean, I'm guessing these will last maybe three or four or five fish. Put an extra wide gap worm hook, offset worm hook on here, maybe about, they say on the package anywhere from four aught to six aught, so I'll, I'll go right in the middle, maybe like a five aught, just match it up, see how it looks. Very nice. Got them all side dicks, they were on sale. Four dollars for the pack of five U's, five dollars. And uh, that's it. This is my tackle bag filled in stream. Got a dix. Not bad, it doesn't hold too much stuff here with the uh, plastic compartments, but uh, it's not bad. Keep some hand sanitizer in here. You know, so when you're done for the day, you can smell. If you want to go out to eat or something real quick, put on some of this stuff. And uh, that's it. Thanks for tuning in, and uh, stay tuned.